Okay, Debbie. You got this. Okay, so there's the... There's their tracks. I think they're actually, like, glowing. I think they really are glowing. Yeah. Oh, a zombie greeting party. <laughs> zombie Beach Party 3. I don't have a fun site subtitle for that. Zombie Beach Party 3, who let the demon dogs out? Who, who, who? Yes. Ah. Shiny. Can't be shiny. Yeah, it looks like they went to this cave here. The cave that I went into before. Huh. Oh, yeah. Fortuitous. Didn't seem to be anything special about it before, but now. They pushed aside some of the roots as they went in. Oh, yeah. And yeah, now I'm seeing something. Filth pustules again. That's a that's a good thing to hear. Yeah, that's a that's a filth pool, isn't it? Yeah, that's yep, a filth pool. Don't. That's a big dog. Big doggy. They're bad dogs, Brunt. Our wisdom flows so sweet. Taste and see. Transmit. Initiate the Titan signal. Receive. Initiate the eel mucus lexicon. We are not composed of altogether flesh and blood. They had shape, but that shape was not made of matter. Illumine the strains of the filth. Witness the filth guardians. Okay, there we go. That was a direct quote from the Cthulhu mythos. Which one? We're yeah, you know, the thing about we're not we're not composed not of flesh. That was, that was, that was directly from the Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu talked, or? No, it, I mean, it was, no, dialogue from. I don't know, that, that. I'm just missing context here. The 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 spooky reference this time. That was a that was a quote from the Call of Cthulhu. Okay, that's nice. You're a little you're a little distracted. I can tell. I have lots of dogs, and they're not good dogs, Brent. They're very bad dogs. <laughs> Zero out of ten, Brent. Remember when these things were like, when I had to be saved from one of them? Yeah. From just one of them? Now look at them. Uh. <sighs> What's the word for that again? Level up? No, like moot. Mookification or something like that? Uh, let's, yeah, let's go with mookification. Yep. They have been reduced to mere mooks in my presence. Or it's like, you know, a, you know a boss demotion or something. I don't know. Boss demotion, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Well, let's see what this open case was. All right. 
private cash. He got the private transferred from the military. Officially, they need to make a stink about it, but he's one of ours now. Test confirmed that Cash is in peak physical condition. Oh, I remember this. He listed as AWOL. Oh, yeah. Huh. But did they actually train him or what? I mean, I, I'm betting that Sarge doesn't know about this. Well, I mean, they got transferred in quotes. Yeah, so I'm guessing someone higher up made that decision and didn't bother telling Sarge. Who is a captain. Captain Sarge. <laughs> Sarge is his last name, though. His first name is actually Lieutenant. <laughs> oh, God. Tess confirmed that Cash is in peak physical condition and that his blood time conforms to the project needs. Commence subject three testing immediately and keep this file open until finished. Subject th Oh, oh shit. We've seen subject zero. Oh, that's a lot of... <laughs> No, I mean, though, like, uh, well, like, though, I mean, if he's, the, like, the, 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 the thing on this island there, I don't think they can get, like, a lot of communications out. Maybe Sarge is in on it. I don't know. The Freeborn Kid is right. There is a distinct difference between the mutations caused by the mist and the mutations caused by the filth. Are we dealing with a collision between two separate occult entities here? One which was buried on the island all along, and something else which came from the sea. Two distinct entities, two distinct lines of mutation. Freeborn has dropped off the map, and we've not been able to track his movements anymore. We have decrypted the video that, that the military recovered from us, and for us, and we have sent a second team to recover and further any further recordings from the Freeborn residents. Your mission is to recover field samples from the local wildlife. Oh, see, it was actually an ambush for them. I just got caught in the middle. Still, though, I, I still, I still think you, you you can count that as like two ambushes against you. Sure, we all ambushed each other. You have to be very unlucky to get to wind up in the middle of that. Hi, have we met? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Subject 3 is live and ready for final testing. We've been cross-infecting strains of various blood types, and the current combination is 83% likely to lure the guard... Oh, that was private cash. Oh. Oh, boy. Mm, poor guy. It's... Project Filth? The focus now is on ensuring that we can subdue the hound once it comes for the bait. Well, I fucked that one up for them. Yeah, you did. But, you know, otherwise, just fuck him. Yeah. The official word on Tyler Freeborn and any research he may have inspired is that it's all wild theories and speculation. That's the official word. The unofficial word is need to know, i.e., I need to know. Ah, so she doesn't know! <laughs> That's becoming increasingly apparent. I give Orochi credit for being so balls out with their filth research, but it seems pretty incomplete. I need facts. I need results. I need Tyler Freeborn. So it looks like I have to sneak back into the Orochi encampment. Do you remember the Do you remember the password? I've got it written down somewhere. Like all like all computer users, you have your password written down in plain sight. I mean. I mean, back at the Illuminati, they made me change my password like every six weeks or so. I can't remember that. You know, it's like I, ha I had to keep writing it down because of the fucking institutional policy. That is, that is itself based on a misunderstanding of what of what's a, what is a strong and weak password. You know how much easier, uh, how much better passwords would be if we're just allowed to type sentences. Yes, that would. That would be, like, incredibly easier and more secure. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Because, you know, it's, it's fucking, like, ingrained in how, in, you, know, how we, you know, the current theories of security. But they're wrong. Yeah, but they're also bureaucracy. Oh, right. That too. Okay, you, you do that so often, I kind of think you want a Revenant to show up. 
Maybe. You okay? I think evidence proves that I am not okay. Yeah, but are you more or less okay from your baseline? I am better than I have been. Okay. Uh, oh nine. Four three. Seven eight six. Oh, look, this camera. That's what, whose it was. That does not look like a camera. Remember when I wrote about the pale men? Remember the stories? The pictures? Okay, okay. Check this out. That's ah. one of them. One of the pale men. They are real. I never noticed the faces they before. They came the mist. I think they belong to the mist. Or maybe it's the other way around. I haven't decided yet. You know the story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin? He had a magic flute. First, he lured all the rats in town into the sea, and then, after they refused to pay him for his services, he played the flute again. Only this time, it wasn't the rats that came with him into the water. It was the children. And he was actually Peter Pan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could or Slender Man, depending on where you... The Slender Pan. ...into the sea. I knew it wasn't natural. I warned them, but they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen. So I plugged my earbuds in, turned the volume up real loud, crawled under the table, and shut my eyes. When Springsteen stopped playing, everything had gone dead quiet. Susie's was completely empty. The whole damn town was empty. And the mist had pulled back, out to sea. No more than half an hour at most. Those few days before they all came back were odd days. We lost a couple of people who tried to pass through the mist. We heard the screams. And we didn't know what to do. Why we were still here. Well, I knew. God, my I know. face. I'm still here because I'm needed. It's my job, my duty, to find out what happened. What came with the mist. Who the pale men are. What they're after. And what lies beyond. What is it that... The fact that it's so human. It's more like the fact that it's just kind of sad and unremarkable, you know? Like, it doesn't look like a monster. It looks like uh, a shop teacher. Tor Johnson? Well, yeah, like Tor Johnson. But it, it, it kind of reminds me of, like, a shop teacher I once had, you know? Who'd just, like, been on the job, you know, for, tw you know, for 20 years, hadn't moved up, just kind of working his way you know, until retirement. It kind of, it's not like, it doesn't look like a monster. It just looks like something that's just like given up on life, you know? Yeah. I said that it's interesting that like he could block out the, the siren song just with like ordinary music. Well, he played it loud enough. I mean, that's true, but like, you don't think I wouldn't think it would have such a mundane solution, you know? I just just used wax. Wait. Uh, do you forget something? I forgot something. What was the thing again? Uh, oh four, oh nine, four three, seven eight six. I figure I should probably look at the research while I'm still in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, if we're going to snoop, we may as well snoop. <sighs> Let's see. I've, have I read these before? I think I have. Uh, probably, yeah. But, I mean, like we've read so many confidential Orochi documents. It's like they all just blend into each other. Let me see here. The... Uh, which tier is this? We are noticing a wide range and degree of symptoms, including tentacles, oozing, pissing... Yeah, we definitely... I've read this. Okay, yeah. Uh... Insubordination, heightened motor function, complaints of random kicking. Yeah, I've read that. Comparable symptoms have not been observed among subjects... Have been observed among subjects who are not physically present... Physically exposed...
physical expo exposure, raw dat data. Physically, yeah, we've read this. Women are not a symptom. The, again, Orochi do not know what variables are. Incomplete, huh? Uh, I just did, I just did what? Uh, let's try it again. Let's see what. Okay, yeah. Uh, testing. Compare blood samples of local human subjects who have not suffered physical expo exposure to blood samples of human subjects who have been physically exposed. Hypothesis: Physical exposure to the black liquid isn't the only way to get infected. I mean, it, it is probably good if we find out about that. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? That would mean everybody on the island would be could be infected. Oh, shit. That would mean I can't save anybody. Well... Look, let's not, let's not worry about that until we know. Yeah, let's... let's... You know, you think they would fix this flaw in our system. Detected. Laboratory atmosphere unstable. Evacuate laboratory immediately. It's still the Orochi. Okay. Wait, there's something here. Oh, they left, left a blood sample right on the desk. What an idiot. Well, you, 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 you put poison in their air system. Of course they're gonna, you know, run and leave things. Laboratory oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. In approximately 30 seconds. Now, this is a filthy blood... This is... That sample was from the person, someone who wasn't infected, or wasn't exposed directly. Mm -hmm. One is purely filth. Now we need one from a fil from an infected human. Have you ever had the eight the branch the dream, sweetling? You cry a name to the heavens, Yamato no Orochi. The eight forked gargantuan serpent, eight heads and eight tails. Its length extends over eight hills and eight valleys, eyes like red winter cherries. Every year it devours your daughters. You pull out your hair. You look to the clouds and pray for a storm god. You pray that his swift, impetuous male Augustness will come and slay the eight-way worm. Awake! The television, a commercial for video games by Anansi Software, a commercial for Faust Capital, a movie channel, a news network, a children's cartoon station, all under the QBL media banner, the signal distills divinity into two gods, stimulus and response, wakefulness has its degrees. I cannot say I've ever had that dream, no. Give it time. I mean, okay, so what's the thing? What's it ever again? Oh, oh, 09 43 786. They threw me out this time. Man. Maybe if you were wearing the uniform. I burned that uniform. Oh, right. It melted down all the way to the labyrinth. 